Hello Aries, welcome to your June reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Special welcome to my podcast listeners on Apple and Spotify. Aries, let's take a look at your reading. You know, the, the energy I'm getting around you this month is one of how to best garner loyalty amongst a social circle. A group of friends. Now, it's a little bit confused because the way that I'm seeing this reading is that there may be some of these friends that have tipped over into being a little bit more than friends. And as a result, that's very, very confusing, not just for them, but also for you. Now, if that isn't you, Aries, it could be the other way around. It could be that you have been placed in a situation amongst a social group where you're not really sure what's what's going on in terms of uh, who's with who. It, it feels like that. It, it feels like somebody here, somebody here is clouding, clouding the energy in this group of friends by having more than one romantic interest or romantic partner. So we'll see where this goes. You know, Aries, we have the card of Athena. Now, Athena, of course, Greek goddess of wisdom. She has as her animal totem here, the owl. So it is about clarity. It is about balancing the mind. A time for you to stop and to take stock of your life. And really set aside some time to, to think about what's going on here because I feel like I'm speaking to either an Aries who is feeling so disconnected from their emotions that they don't know who they feel emotion towards. They may feel that they have uh, emotions towards several people at once. That could be you Aries or it could be someone around you that's doing this to you. So there's a need for sorting through these feelings closely reviewing a current situation. You know, Athena, although she was the goddess of wisdom, she helped heroes win battles, but only through the use of intelligence, clarity, foresight, and wisdom. So it's a time to be smart and a time to think things through. Wisdom only comes when the heart and the mind are in balance. So when those two things are out of whack, things can get a little bit pear-shaped so what's really occurring here? Let's take a look. Friends, you know, we all want companionship. We all want uh, loyalty amongst our friends. But of course, our friends want that from us in return. So it's a two-way street. So when we talk about this card of the dog, and dogs, of course, have been uh, companions to humankind for uh, centuries. So the card is about companionship and it's about being a firm and ethical friend, seeking loyalty and honesty in friendships. And our friendships should be supportive, not competitive. That's what I feel about this reading. It feels to me like someone's pitted either two friends against each other or they have triangulated somehow. And, uh, and there's two love interests here, but they're in a social circle and there's jealousy now, or they're trying, to, they're trying to bring about jealousy. I really hope that isn't you, Aries. If you are the person here that is being triangulated, I think you have to be wise about this and not, not allow this to happen because I do feel that someone here is being... I do feel that they're trying to pull, they're either trying to pull the wool over someone's eyes because I think that they may have more feelings here for someone and then there's just, a, there's another person around this as well that's just kind of being used as someone to, to make the other person jealous which is crazy but that's what I'm picking up. We have the five of wands in reverse, the three of cups and the seven of swords in reverse. Now this is this group of friends that I was talking about in which there is this competitive energy, pitting people against the other, one up against the other here, Aries. 
and it's trickery it's sorcery it's it's dangerous energy somebody here thinks that they they can do this that they are smart they think that they can use their intelligence here because i do think that we're talking about someone who thinks that they are very intelligent and that they have the power to go tr treating people like this aries i don't feel that this is you i feel that this is someone around you yeah it, it's not good energy right in the center here i've got the lovers card so i do feel that it is in relation to a choice in love we also have the seven of cups in reverse and the magician in reverse this is this sorcery this trickery this person thinks that they've got many different options and they feel that they can pit people against the other here it's a uh, it's illusion it's fantasy i think that this person is being a little bit delusional really because i have a feeling that at least one of these let's call them friends in, in air quotes slash lovers is uh, is wise to this and i feel that this person is just going to say well you know what good luck and and move on and, and i think that that might be you aries I think you've been down this road before with people who play these kind of manipulation games with this magician in reverse I think you see through this the thing is this person is funnily enough trying to have a, a stable partnership but they think that the way to get there is by playing this manipulation game with they're pitting two people against each other here and jealousy and it's like the person who fights for them the most is is, is going to be the, the winner and that they're going to be happy with this person well you know we've got this individual here as the king of cups in reverse so watery energy but this is someone who is not a, a when it comes to their emotions they are quite uh tumultuous i don't think that this person knows what they feel truly i get that this is an individual who's very caught up very caught up in the things that they lose rather than the things that they think they can have this is someone who's very much focused on self-pity concerned for the self and they can't believe that this uh, it, it's like this person has this energy around them of really wanting this stable partnership and and feeling like they are very deserving of it but the way in which they're trying to get this is so completely boneheaded that they're, they're not going to end up with what they want i do think that this person is is self-sabotaging but they don't realize it they think that this is the way to to get a a companion to choose a companion one that's going to be loyal is to play this silly manipulation game with these two people who i feel are friends who may be t tipping over into lovers at least at least one of these people has tipped over into lovers already if, if, if not both of these individuals one of those i feel could be you aries or if you're cross watching for an aries this could be an aries that's doing this to you but i hope not because uh, this individual is is not thinking clearly uh, they don't see things the right way and uh, as long as they're in this this mode here of uh, manipulating other people and believing that they are entitled to do so and that this is the best way to get a relationship find out who's going to be loyal they're going to be sadly disappointed in the results i get that they're actually going to be someone here who delays their own happiness delays their own success by playing this silly manipulation game yeah you know the thing is aries you're wiser you're, you're wise to this you've seen it all before you've got the card of embracing here 
And this is a, if you look at this card, and for my podcast listeners, it's a picture of a, like a, a wading bird. It looks like a, a heron. And this bird is in the floodplains. Now the floodplains, of course, are very, uh, are very nutrient rich areas of growth. They're very fertile, rich ecosystems, excellent areas for lush, abundant crops. So the thing is, allowing things to happen in a natural way, uh, giving it fertile ground to grow in, that's what this person should do if they want a relationship. But they seem to be cutting corners, trying to, to hasten something here in order to get the results that they want. Where what they should be doing here is slowing this right down finding some quiet time for themselves, sorting through their emotions, focusing on who they feel an emotional connection with, getting rid of any other people that are in the mix here so that there isn't this com competitive nature amongst this uh, group of people, and, uh, and then allow things to grow naturally. But this person doesn't seem to be able to do that. They have a very funny way of conducting conducting relationships. It may be that this person is just very, very much someone who has difficulty with sharing their emotions to others. And so they'd rather, rather than do that, rather than open up and, and, and share their emotional side with someone and be truthful and, and lay their heart out there for, uh, for others to uh, perhaps judge them because this person doesn't like to be judged, this individual would rather just pit two people up against each other here and s who dares wins. Like who, who's the winner here is going to be my companion. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, emotions, emotions. Sometimes emotions can feel very uncomfortable though, and that's what I feel around this person. A lot of discomfort. But the thing is, through that discomfort, there can be growth and there can be value in that by feeling those emotions, getting those uncomfortable emotions out there, experiencing them. That's how we learn and grow. So there is, Believe it or not, even though this person is not expressing that, there is some kind of energy around this person of, of overflowing emotions, but they're not coming out. They're blocked. They're blocked. Now, it could be that one of these particular people, it could be you, Aries, that this person's interested in is the one here, like the one that they feel a lot for. But because they feel so much for this person, they bring in this third party here and sabotage it. Well, what's all that about? You know, again, it's, it's fear. It's fear of, of being vulnerable, fear of finding that, that partner, fear of settling down. But ultimately, that is what this person's goal is, Aries. So self-sabotage, sabotaging a relationship that had potential, I think, to grow, but I, I don't know how this is going to play out. But here in June, it looks to me like somebody is becoming wise to this game playing. So let's get some cards down here. I'm going to clarify with the Lenormand deck and I'm going to put out one per position. So we'll see what's going on here. See if we can get some more information about this person around you, Aries. And again, if you're cross-watching, this could be an Aries that you're dealing with. Let's take a look at that Five of Wands in reverse. It's, it's a man. I, I do feel that there's a, a masculine energy around this individual of just feeling pumped up because he has two people fighting for him, two love interests. Now the Three of Cups, I feel that they're, with the letter card, I feel that he's corresponding or uh, texting or communicating with a number of people, possibly on uh, social media. We also have the Seven of Swords in reverse. We've got the Tower. Yes, this person feels 
I get that there's a lot of ego around this individual, very much an arrogant person, and they feel quite entitled to, uh, to act this way. And I also get this person is not very good with words, Aries. Yes, I don't feel that they're good communicating their emotions in words. So that's part of the problem here. This, this individual seems to have some kind of block when it comes to uh, emotional communication. Now we have the fox with the magician in reverse. So yes, this person is playing games. With the lovers, we have uh, the man here. I feel that that's the same person. Uh, the fact that this individual has multiple people interested in them is making them feel kind of like a Casanova. I see this man in this picture, he's got a, a rose there, he, he looks like he's in love. So it's really boosting this person's ego. Now the Seven of Cups in reverse, we've got the Rider card. Yeah, you know, the feeling around this person is, is that they're uh, they're making multiple trips. I feel that they're seeing a number of people, different people at the same time, well, not at the same time, but they, they go from one to the next, from one person one night and the next night they're with somebody else. So they alternate. Let's look at the four of wands in reverse. Meanwhile, there is someone here that I feel that is their soulmate, a partner, potential partner, but that is, uh, they're actually sabotaging or delaying that. We have the sun in reverse with the heart card because this person doesn't connect with their emotions. They're not expressing uh, their love. They're not uh, showing that love or revealing that love. And we have the king of cups in reverse with the child card. They're childlike emotions, childish behavior from this person. Let's get a, a card on the Athena. Athena wisdom. I feel that that's you. This person is not showing wisdom, but I feel that uh, one of these love interests is you, Aries, and, and you're the wise one here, and you see through this. And I feel that for you, of course, it's up to you what you do, but uh, I don't think that you're going to be playing these games. Now, of course, when it comes to Aries, Aries often is up for a challenge. You don't shy away from that. Uh, you don't shy away from battle. You are Mars, the, the warrior spirit. But in the end, is this person all that? I think that's what you're saying to yourself. Are they are they worth the, the worth the effort? I have a feeling you're saying maybe not. Yeah, we've got you here with the anchor, so I get you very stable, very wise person, and I get you as someone. who doesn't really need this this person around them. Let's have a look at the dog card. I'm picking that up as this person actually would like a companion and they think that the way to work out who's going to be loyal here is to have two people kind of fight for them. But I think one of these individuals, probably you Aries, is just going to leave this behind. But let's have a look at the dog card. Let's clarify the dog. We have the key. Yes. Rather than doing this, what they should do is open up, express how they feel instead of playing these silly games. Because I do think that one of these people is being used as a pawn or a tool of jealousy to to make the other person person feel like this person's a prize that they need to, to fight for them, that they need to win them. And this embracing card, let's look at that. It's really about expressing love, opening up, showing, expressing love, and, uh, and, and not playing silly, childish games. Let's have a look at embracing. Yeah, the house here, it's, it's about stability. You know, this person does want a stable relationship, but the way that they're going about it they're actually sabotaging what could be fertile ground by bringing in something here which reveals a third party. 
Oh, Aries, I don't know what to say. I hope that this isn't you. I'm going to get one more card here. And what I want to pull out is from the, let's get one from the, uh, the Twin Tarot Oracle. Message for this reading. Okay. We have the Emperor in reverse. Yeah, I, I feel that. Well, you know, you could be cross-watching. This could be an Aries that is doing this. I, I really don't think it, it would be someone who's watching tarot as an Aries. I do, I do think that you're far more advanced, wiser than someone who would act this way. But it is a warning that someone around you is showing this darker side of the Emperor. Someone who's being very arrogant, you know, trying to dominate a situation. He's not a pleasant or easy character. He's very fixed in his thinking. And he's um, not very, he doesn't really think things through in terms of reasoned arguments. There's a lot of energy around this of someone who always has to be on the defensive. Why? Because of the way he acts, really. So he, he always comes from that place of defense or offense here. He, and he's also someone here who's very unpleasant, uh, somewhat bullying, undermining, or even patronizing. Yes, so whoever this is, I do think that this is someone who you want to steer clear of, really, Aries. So the, this is an affirmation that whoever's doing this is not a very nice character and they're demonstrating some of the very negative emperor qualities. So reflect on recent interactions with this person. Was someone being overbearing? Were they lacking in tolerance or empathy? Someone giving you a hard time? Uh, were they cold? Were they uh, egalitarian? Uh, or rather the, the opposite of that I should say uh, the thing is this person this person feels that they need to dominate it's actually coming from a place of insecurity when somebody acts this dominating or this would they feel like they need to to bully people into it if they just were able to reveal their emotions be vulnerable and and show this compassionate loving side they wouldn't have to, to do this kind of behavior. But Aries, I feel this is someone who has trying to pull the wool over your eyes here by concocting some kind of third party situation in, in hopes that, that someone will, will see them as, as a, a prize here and, and fight, fight for them. Well, it's not gonna happen. So I'm going to leave it there, Aries, and wish you all the very best with this. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Please do press that thumbs up button down below on YouTube if you're enjoying this reading. Share me on your social media and please get the word out. If you're a newcomer, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Please do uh, press that notification bell as well. Special thank you to my podcast listeners on Apple and Spotify. Don't forget to check out my channel on YouTube, Gypsy Insights by Michelle, for more readings. Wishing you the best at this, Aries. Please take care, and I'll see you soon.